Profiles in Kumu, which are in the side panel here on the left, are great for including detailed background information about what you're mapping, but sometimes they can be a little bit of overkill and they do take up a lot of precious screen space. Sometimes you might just want to share a little bit more context about an element or connection without having to open the entire profile. So popovers allow you to display fields from your profiles when someone hovers over an element, connection, or a loop on the map. To get started with popovers, I'll open up the advanced editor and I'll move all the way down here to the bottom after any other settings that might be in here. And then the basic syntax is to write a selector, open a pair of curly brackets, and then use the popover property to tell Kumu what the popover should be. My selector here is just the word element, which is gonna apply this popover setting to all elements. The value of the popover property should be a string template, and I think it's easier to show rather than tell what that means. So I'll start by adding a pair of double quotes, and then inside the double quotes, I can use double curly brackets to tell Kumu to pull in data from a field. For example, I can type label inside the double curly brackets, and now when I hover over an element, Kumu will dynamically pull the label of that element into a nice popover. You can also add normal words, spaces, and punctuation to this popover. So if I add chapter title and a colon and a space before the label, each popover will now show that hard-coded text next to the dynamic field data. And so this is characteristic of a string template. You have hard-coded text, punctuation, things like that, and those are right alongside dynamic field data that's getting pulled in from each individual element or connection on your map. As you're building out your popovers, you can add a double space anywhere to create a line break. So I'll add a double space here and then insert one of my custom fields from this map called topic sentence. And now you can see that we have the label, a line break, and the topic sentence in each popover. Note also that the field names aren't case sensitive here, so I can type these in all capital letters, all lowercase. As long as they're spelled the same, Kumu will be able to find that field and pull in the data. Certain fields get special treatment when you bring them into popovers. So for example, this full chapter field that I'm typing out has a field type of URL in this map and it contains a link for each one of my elements. When I put it in the popover, it's not just the text that represents the link, it actually becomes a functional clickable link. Likewise, if you add the image field to your popover, Kumu's not just gonna display the link to the image, it's gonna actually render the full image itself. And if you add any field that can hold multiple values, like the tags field, Kumu will show a bulleted list in the popover containing each of the values that are in that field. So this popover is looking pretty complete, but it's still a little bland visually. And the good news is that I can use Markdown to spice that up. We have a full guide on Markdown in our documentation, but I'll just show a few examples here. I can add four pound signs here to create a larger heading style. I can add some underscores for italics and I can add three dashes with a line break on either side to add a horizontal line. And if I open up the popover now, you'll see that the label has a nice heading style and the topic sentence is now in italics and there's a horizontal line here dividing these two sections. To learn more about popovers, go to docs.kumu.io and search popovers.